Hello and welcome. This video is going to be there to help the new players and the old players deal with the event Encrypted. Now if you are a new player, you'll uh, probably have finished the quest line to get to Sheep Squatch. And then it just took you to this cabin up here and then if like most people you were unlucky, uh, it said that the event was over essentially. Um, quest line finished. And then it said you had to wait, and that was it. Um, basically, the event goes on every three hours. You need to have someone there to trigger it with a item. Um, but then once you have, it will summon Sheep Squatch. Now, I'm doing this video because a lot of people I've seen have had a lot of issues um, trying to kill this thing. Uh, you can see in the background I'm fighting it at the moment. Now what everyone seems to be ignoring at the moment is you need to activate these pylons. If you don't, then the imposter is going to essentially stay invisible. Um, although that doesn't do much good for him because he's got a giant little glowing face. Um, but he's also going to be pretty much invulnerable. Um, so you need to get... Well, you need... One person can activate all three pylons. Um... But I would not recommend it. Uh, each pylon is going to do damage to you over time. You can see here I'm still losing health. Also took a hit there that did a ton of damage. Um, but I'm constantly taking damage as well being near this pylon. But you need to be near this pylon or you can't hurt Sheep Squatch. So the best way to do this is get three people. One on each pylon. And everyone else can attack Sheep Squatch. You can see... Quite a few people there on top of that building. If you've got marsupial or a jetpack, you can just chill out on top of there. And Sheep Squatch isn't going to be able to do much to you. He does have the laser, but you can dodge out of the way of that. And it's not like quite like the regular Assault Tron laser, um, which is more sustained. This one's more of like a burst shot kind of thing. And as you saw previously as well, if you're by the pylon, he's going to try and melee attack you. All you have to do is run in circles around the pylon. It's one of the reasons I stay near it. I stay near the pylon just in case I go down or anything and I have to tag it or anything like that again. As well as as soon as Sheep Squatch decides it wants to mess with me, I can run in circles around this pylon and it's not going to be able to hit me. You are going to probably have to pop a stim pack or two. Um... The pylons do energy damage, so if you have a high energy resist or a perk, say, like grounded, that's going to help you to be able to do the pylons. For the low levels who can join this event, because like I say, as soon as it goes up, it is a server-wide event. Anyone can join it, kind of like the Scorch Beast Queen. Um, I would focus on taking out the iBots. The iBots are only level 1. They basically just explode as you saw there they just explode when you hit them any low levels would be able to deal with those because the rest like the mist gutsies and everything they're going to be level 50 sheep squatch can uh, well the imposter sheep squatch can nearly one hit um pretty much everybody <laughs> um if you're not wearing power armor if you're wearing power armor it's a couple of hits but still incredibly high damage so Low levels, you want to stay away from him. Um, and, like I say, target the iBots. Take out the iBots because they are a pain, for, especially for the people on the actual pylons. People on the pylons, make sure you've got at least one or two hits in because you don't want to be sacrificing your stim packs. Um, not to actually earn anything when Sheep Squatch dies. That was, happened to me the first time. Um, for some reason, I got the hit markers. But it didn't register that I'd hit the imposter for some reason. And then I didn't actually get any loot at the end of it. Which was quite annoying. Because I've been stood there taking all this damage for no apparent reason. But it's a, quite a hectic event. Um, like I said, you've got to focus on these pylons. Or you're pretty much dead. Um, I would definitely recommend going around. If someone goes down by a pylon, definitely go over and stim pack them. Um, they're going to still be attached to the pylon for a little while while they're down, but you need to get them back up or it's going to basically deactivate the pylons again and you're not going to be able to do anything. Like at this point, Sheep Squatch here is, once again, 
invulnerable. Someone's hit the other pylon now, and now you can hit it when it's lost that kind of force field invisibility that it had going on there. You see we're smacking the hell out of it here, gonna back off, because like I say, it's, it can... Uh, I'm wearing excavator armor, I've got a couple of perks, but it can about two, three hit me-ish, depending on how much the pylon's doing to me as well. And once you've actually completed the quest line, um, you're going to get a item that I was on about earlier, a keycard so that you can activate this quest. And upon use, it only requires one person to use it to activate the event. Like I say, that can only be every three hours. Um, but upon activating the event, then you lose that keycard and you do need to get another one. Now, if you complete the quest line, you'll have the plan already. Um, you'll be able to go craft that. Mostly very minimal uh, items required. The only thing that it does now require is a circuit board. Now the only problem with the circuit board is pretty much every vendor carries it um, without any like um, barter perks or anything like that. Uh, it was going to cost me about 2,400 caps. So it's not the cheapest thing to be able to get. Um, but it is possible, um, like I say, you can get it, you can get the barter perks. As far as I'm aware, at the moment, it doesn't drop or anything like that. So they are the only places you're going to be able to get it for now. Um, so I definitely recommend um, doing this. It is a guaranteed freestyle legendary. It does get you a couple of new items. Uh, you can see that guy there. He has a helmet on. Uh, one of the new imposter um, clothes. As well as there is a white tip for Dory you can get. There is an imposter clothes you can get. There are a couple of uh, plans. Like a plan for the fixer. Um, so you can get a level 50 fixer. Which is um, meant to have a better base damage than the other combat rifle, so that might be worth looking at. I haven't got it myself yet. Um, hopefully this will help some people be able to complete this. I haven't failed it as of yet, but mostly because I've been hitting the pylons every time we've done it. I've had one or two where people haven't gone to get the pylons and then have seen me doing it and have followed on. Because if you don't, um, I believe you can do damage uh, through his shield, but it's so minuscule it would take you longer than fighting the sh like Scorch Beast Queen, to be honest with you. Um, so you need to keep these pylons up, you need to keep those people on the pylons up, you need to clear out the robots. It would be great to have some people who are just focusing on clearing out like the Protectrons um, and the Mr. Gutsies that are coming in. Unless you have a coordinated team though that's not going to happen um which completely understandable so i'd recommend like say if you're like myself you play solo a lot of the time you are hitting up these events because people um and on at the moment that kind of thing definitely go for the pylons um maybe if you're launching the event just check who's on the server before you launch the event um because you don't want to have to try solo this <laughs> it'd be a very incredibly difficult to try solo this. But I definitely, like I say, see, check who's on the server. Grab the pylons away you can. Um, make sure you've at least got one of them. Um, because a lot of people aren't going to grab any of them. So you need to be able to make sure that three people are on those three pylons. And then Sheepscotch isn't that difficult to take down. Um, once you've got those pylons up, like I say, I've done runs where all I've done is kite him around the pylon the entire time because he was it was just so focused on me didn't want to attack anyone else and all I did was kite it around the pylon and just heal up through the pylon's damage and we just killed it it didn't even knock anyone down I hope this video helps some people with actually being able to complete this event um, and killing the imposter now, what I'm actually waiting for is for the real Sheep Squatch to come out. I believe, hopefully, it should be on Tuesday, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, with the burrows, is where the actual Sheep Squatch will be. And maybe that will be another interesting fight with some other 
actual um, strategy to it, like this one with the pylons. 